Brooklyn Independent Television. Built and operated by husband and wife team Ben and Sohi, the Good Fork is a Red Hook culinary staple with comfy surroundings just as inviting as their food. They boast an amazing Asian accented menu with everything from crab cakes to gumbo. Sounds delicious. Is your mouth watering yet? Table one. My name is Ben Schneider. I'm here at the Good Fork restaurant, which is my restaurant that I own with my wife, Zoe Kim. And I'm here today as well with my son, Oliver Schneider. My wife and I opened this restaurant uh, about four years ago. She had been cooking professionally in the city and I was a carpenter and we felt like there was not very many restaurants in Red Hook and so we went for it and, and here we are today. Having lived in Red Hook for as long as we did, we sort of fell in love with the neighborhood. Red Hook is sort of up and coming. It has been for the past sort of five years and I think we timed it pretty correctly. Really not expecting a whole lot just to sort of feed the neighborhood and have the neighborhood um, come and support us. And it kind of blew up in, in, a, in a very good way. New York Times came to, to review us. It was a glowing review, you know. We uh, started off, you know, running fast and furious and uh, it's been a steady run since then. The food we serve, if you had to classify it, you would probably say seasonal new American. The truth is that it's just the food that we like to eat. So it's some classical French stuff, some classical Italian stuff. And then my wife, who's the chef, is Korean-American. So there's some Korean and, and then other Asian influences in the menu. But it's not fusion food. It's not all mixed up. Everything has its own kind of simple integrity. Prior to opening, we had to write a business plan uh, that included, obviously, the concept of the restaurant. We wanted to be in Red Hook, uh, you know, serving the neighborhood, have the atmosphere be very charming and cozy, the food very simple. Sort of wanted one foot in fine dining, one foot in, in sort of comfortable food, um, like a neighborhood cafe, bistro type of restaurant. And as far as the menu planning was concerned, it was difficult for me to describe to people what kind of restaurant, because you know, they look at an Asian chef, they figure an Asian restaurant or a fusion type restaurant. But I wanted all the food, every single menu item, to be authentic as possible. And so I wanted the menu to be more globe-trotting, world influence, I suppose. So to describe it as eclectic New American, you know, homemade kimchi, which is very, very Korean as you can get. Um, so starting to introduce the neighborhood and, and perhaps the world, you know, of, of my take. On it. We definitely want to do more stuff in the business. Although it's been extremely challenging and frustrating and, and uh, scary at times, it's also uh, exciting and, and we enjoy it. So, um, But I wouldn't want to just do a carbon copy of this restaurant somewhere else. I feel like this place has its own unique spirit and I think it's better to try and come up with something that is a, a variation on the original. Uh, rather than try and repeat the original. Tell us, what are we cooking today? Uh, we got grouper here. Uh, this is one of the fish dish, and this is going to get pan seared, and it's get cooked with uh, some cardoon two different ways, and uh, yam roasted potato, and a lobster butter sauce. Sounds delicious. Let's get started. Okay. I'm seasoning <laughs> the fish. Okay. Salt and pepper, mm -hmm. both sides. So what kind of fish is grouper? Like a farm texture and a little bit flaky. And so now the pan's really hot smoking. So you want the skin side on, right? Down in the oil. And you want to hear the really searing sound. Mm -hmm. And the skin gets curly, mm -hmm. so you want to press it down. This goes in the oven. And how long does it go in the oven? About four minutes. This is 500 degrees, the hot, oh, you know, very hot. So this is uh, cardoon vegetable that is like our artichoke family. We brunch them with a little bit of lemon juice and salt and uh, get the lemon thyme. This is the roasty potato. Um, what kind of potato is it? Uh, yum, uh, sweet potato mm -hmm. and also Yukon potato in it. It goes in the oven. Excellent. This is already cooked so okay. you just have to heat it up and uh, has a little bit of butter in it so you want to reduce it down. I'm ready to plate. Okay. Oh. Oh. So when it's all things so like how do you this, know when it's done? Okay. You want this part to be like a slightly pink, mm -hmm. 
and then it's a scrape over, and then it cook for like 20 seconds, it'll be done. We have the potatoes coming out. So this is one. So here is the cardoon uh, brunch until it gets very, very soft. And then I reduce the heavy cream with a little bit of shallots and thyme. And instead of making a gratin, that would be a delicious thing. So you just make... So this is like the sauce with it. I'm getting it. I like that you use two different potatoes. I think that's really interesting. This is the, uh, the reduction of wine, shallots, garlic, oh, okay. and uh, tomato. And then I add lobster stock and then reduce it. But it's good. I'm gonna put the cardoon on the top. And the fish. The main piece. And I get a bit of lemon thyme. And it. the colors too. Thank you, Sala. This is excellent. And I'm excited because I get to eat what you made. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now I get to try the grouper made by Sawa. I'm really excited because I love to eat. Okay, here we go. It's actually amazing. So you guys should come. The good pork. Excellent. And now I'm gonna have some wine with it. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.